Hi friends, welcome to lecture number 6 that is running Selenium scenarios and future files. So let us start uh, right away. So for that I have created this uh, selenium.feature file and over there there are two steps. I am on the home page of the soft post and I should see the title contains tutorials. So, so what I am doing here is that I am going to the home page of this website and then checking that title contains tutorials. After I created this feature file I have also created the step definitions for that and the step definitions are there in this particular file as you can see this is the first step in that what i'm doing is i am launching the chrome browser using the selenium web driver interface here i have specified this property web driver dot chrome dot driver which actually uh, links to this particular exe fa file chrome driver dot exe file created the instance of this chrome driver and then using this get method i'm navigating to this particular url and in the next step what i'm doing is i'm getting the title of the page then converting into lowercase and then checking if it contains tutorials word and then if it is this condition is true this assertion is gonna pass otherwise it will fail and then i am closing the browser and then quitting the driver so that is how i have created these step definitions now to execute this particular scenario what you can do is you can click on this scenario name and then click on run scenario or if there are say multiple scenarios in that feature file you can right click on that feature file and then click on run feature so what will happen is all scenarios will be executed in that particular feature file so if i run this one it will run all the scenarios when you right click and then uh, click on uh, run a scenario or say create scenario you will uh, see that there is a configuration that is created here and you can click on edit configurations over there you can specify the glue this is very important because by default it is empty and uh, glue is nothing but the package in which your step definition class is available so we have put that step definition class in this package org.softpost and that's why I have given this glue value as org.softpost then here I have given the feature so this is the feature that I want to run and this is the main class that I don't want to change that and the program arguments remember that right now it is saying that this particular value like uh, it should find the scenario with the name check the title and that scenario will be executed but if you want to run all the scenarios you can put it there star over there and then it will execute all the scenarios in that feature file so that is how you can edit the configuration or you can remove the configuration like this so what i'm going to do is just remove these configurations then click on apply and click on ok so right click and then right now you can see that there is a option called as create scenario and right now it is showing that glue values org .soft post, but sometimes it is empty so remember that you need to put that uh, package in which your state definition class is available and the rest of the things you can keep as, as it is then click on ok and then this configuration is created over there and to execute this all you have to do is just click on this button or you can also right click and then click on run then what will happen is it will create the instance of that chrome driver launch the browser and then go to uh, that particular website softpost.org and then check the title if the title contains tutorials word it will pass the test so the test has passed as you can see test has passed two steps have passed and uh, to debug this uh, particular scenario what you can do is go to the step definition class and then over there you can add the breakpoints for example let's say you want to add the breakpoint over there then uh, to run this particular uh, scenario in the debug mode you need to click on this particular button or you can also use shift f9 shortcut key and once you do that what will happen is your code will execute up to this point or this uh, line of code and then stop it and from there on you can execute step by step or debug your code so over here you can notice that this uh, blue line indicates that I have uh, put a breakpoint over there and the program uh, control is uh, stopped over there paused actually so from there you can resume the program by clicking on this button you can check the variable values over there or you can evaluate some expressions as well by clicking on this button move step by step by using this f8 shortcut key or you can step into particular uh, call of the method by using f7 
so these are the some shortcuts keys that you can use and then if you want to stop it in the middle you can click on this button so that is how you can uh, like run or debug these scenarios in your uh, IntelliJ. so that ends our uh, lecture number six that is running cell name scenarios and future files